Hey there, good morning. This is Tenorio National Park, the hike to Rio Celeste. The uh, parking lot is 15 minutes walk that way. It's a three kilometer walk one way up there. Parking was $3 and the entrance fee was 13 bucks. Hola. It is a spectacular kind of uh, natural pools and waterfalls area, but there is no swimming there, no alcohol, leave your beers in the car, and it is popular. So today I'm going to be traveling from the uh, depths of the rainforest here to the Pacific Ocean over on the Nicoya Peninsula, going to a beach after the past like eight days, I think, that I've been in Costa Rica. I've been in the interior, San Jose, to La Fortuna. And then last night I stayed in a little tiny town nine kilometers away from here. I forget the uh, name of it. Cute little town. Found a random hotel for 50 bucks a night. And then I will make the drive to the uh, peninsula about uh, two and a half hours from here. So it's going to be a uh, fun day of exploring. Hello. Hey there. <laughs> Seeing a lot of the uh, different landscapes and the uh, incredibly varied biodiversity that is Costa Rica. So this is a detour, keep steps going down, just a uh, short distance, yeah. Hello, hola. But, for good reason. So I came up from the uh, other waterfall and it then continues up from there. So this is a butt kicker. It's not too much further, I don't think, to the Azul Laguna. Blue Lagoon. Gotta be nice. So the Tenorio National Park closes at 2 p.m. I think that is the uh, last time that you can get in at the uh, entrance gate there that I showed in the beginning. Now that is if they don't fill up. Apparently sometimes they will have uh, too many people already go through and so they will stop selling tickets whatsoever at some time during the day. So better to uh, come earlier. I arrived there at about uh, 11 in the morning. Now if you saw my video from yesterday, then I got here at 3.20 and didn't realize that uh, it closed at 2. As it turns out, then, it was a really good thing that I was not able to do the hike at that time because after I took my swim down at the uh, river where you can swim just a kilometer down the road from the ticket area, then uh, I was lounging there, drank a couple of beers, was hanging out, and then it started to rain. And it got harder and harder and harder. And I ended up walking back to my car and just torrential downpour. And so that would have been happening, you know, in the middle of my hike somewhere. You wouldn't have been able to uh, see anything and it would have been a very, very wet experience. So this is looking much, much better. Ultimate.
And here it is. Laguna Azul. Wow. But there's still much more to see. So it smells very sulfurous. I guess uh, because of the volcano, I wonder if there are hot springs around here. Like right there, I just got a whiff of it. It's disgusting. But uh, that usually means hot springs. There were lots of hot springs at the uh, La Fortuna town area and the Arenal volcano. I haven't heard about them here. Not sure, but uh, could be. So 2,500 meters to the start of the trail, and this is the end. Hey, Kawati. <laughs> hey, little buddy. What's going on? It's like, where's the snacks, guys? What do you want? What do you want? Hey there. No, I don't have any goodies. <laughs> cool. Taper. They're roaming these jungles. That would be crazy to see. They are huge. He's following the rules, staying on the trail. Six persons. Does the Kawati count as a person? Hello there! Good luck on the snack quest. <laughs> and so right around here is where I was smelling the sulfur smell. So here is the answer to my question. Are there hot springs in this area? Look at that. It is bubbling away. Man, I would so love to uh, getting that water because uh, there you have the cold water mixing with the hot and so you could you know find a spot where it's kind of the perfect temperature and so I'm back at the Blue Lagoon got it to myself for a minute and I also have some lunch two uh, strawberry yogurts some kind of bread pastry kind of a thing that's really heavy a orange juice a couple of apple strudels, a piece of pizza, and a ham and cheese croissant.